At the end of this video, you'll learn how to use this sales activity calculator to predict the amount of effort that you need to apply on a consistent weekly basis, beginning with cold outbound email to achieve your yearly revenue targets. By using this calculator, hopefully what will happen is you'll remove your anxiety, the uncertainty, and the fear of not knowing how you're going to achieve those goals. It's one thing to have ambitious revenue targets, but if you can't translate that into effort, it's impossible to hit them. Now, once I applied this in my business and with my clients, what we can do is break down those targets or what we need to hit as a minimum. Then we can work on our skill to improve the percentage numbers. And that's what I would encourage you to do as well. Let's have a look at it. Well, you can see this is a sales activity calculator. Now we'll start from the top and we'll look at it here as the consideration uh, for front ending your activity. Now ask yourself in your business, what is the average length of sale? And is it two months? Is it three months? Is it six months? Is it 12 months? If it's 12 months, you should have been doing the activity to close deals this year, last year. But let's just say in this scenario, it takes four months to close a deal and we'll come back to that again. Now moving down here, if we have an annual sales target of $400,000 within a business and the average deal size is about $5,000 per revenue, per client, per year. So that means uh, we're going to need 80 opportunities to hit the revenue target of 400,000. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm breaking down key sections in the pipeline that I'm using. So I'm using a sales market fit pipeline. So it's a pipeline that aligns your effort, your sales effort to give you better context of the effort you need to pay at certain stages of your client's buying journey. Now, if you want a free download and I'll put the calculator in the second tab of that, you'll be able to find a link in the comments below as well. What I'm actually doing is using three key uh, stage gates in this uh, pipeline. One is initial meeting booked. The second one is a qualified opportunity. And the third one is a formal proposal submitted. They're the stage gates that I'm trying to get to in every opportunity. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm saying in my world, I want to win 80% of the proposals that I submit. Now it's not as simple as, hey, are you interested? I'm going to give you a proposal. There's a lot more work that goes into this because we're putting a lot more work in and taking a differentiated approach. We're actually getting an 80% win rate from every formal proposal we're submitting. And then we're moving down and that breaks down to from um, the average ratio of generate interest demos to qualified opportunities is about 30%. So we're saying, you know, almost one in three or three in 10 opportunities, they're gonna go through to qualified opportunity. Now, if you're a startup, this could be a lot less because you don't have runs on the board. Um, people aren't willing to take a risk on such a new venture, um, but we'll come back to how these numbers might change a little later as well. Now, and also um, using outbound sequences, did 10% um, of outbound sequences to initial meetings booked. Now, it could be a lot lower. You might get a reply rate of 15, 20%, but only half of that may, may be interested in, in having a meeting with you. Uh, and then also to have um, the pipeline coverage. If we have 20% of the pipeline coverage to account for anything that doesn't work, that's giving um, some deals up our sleeve because there's always unexpected things that come up during the year regularly in a sales pipeline. It's not a perfect science. Now let's look um, to hit our annual sales targets of $400,000 with an average deal size of $5,000, we're going to need 80 opportunities. Now that equates to seven per month or two per week to come through for us to hit our revenue targets. That means um, with a 20% loss rate from proposals submitted, we're going to actually have to send out 100 proposals or nine per week and um, with an average of three per week. So this is breaking down the outcomes you need to achieve on a weekly basis. So now if we go break that down even further, with the, net, with the number of initial meetings booked with decision makers, we need 334 meetings per year to get to 100 proposals to get to 80 opportunities. So that breaks down to 28 per month or seven per week. If you look at seven meetings per week, if you do the right activity, this is quite achievable to do. Now to actually have additional coverage of 20%, which we've put up here, we need to increase those figures by 20%. So that means on average, and per annum, we need to send out 4,000 outbound sequences at a minimum per year, um, or 335 a month, or 78 per week. So ask yourself, how much attention are you paying to lead generation? Now, let's just say you're a startup, minimum sales experience. Let's be honest. Your win rate 
um, is probably going to be a lot worse than this. So let's just say, for instance, your was only an 8% success rate from outbound sequences to initial meetings booked. And that goes up to 97. It's not unachievable, but you should maybe think about being conservative when you're putting these numbers in. So you overcompensate in your outbound lead generation. So you can actually hit your revenue numbers. Let's just say you use this as a baseline. Now you can start upskilling yourself in each one of these categories. How do we do a better demo? And if you want some information on that, there's a video up here in a corner, you'll be able to find some information on that. Now you can also do some, um, you know, how do you better move clients through the sales pipeline? And how do you increase your in rate? That's a key proponent to winning clients more regularly as well. Let's just say you are way better at booking meetings through outbound sequencing. Then that means you can do less. And if you increase your percentage rates from, um, you get better at demoing, say through 35%, the numbers come down again. So I hope that gives you some context of the amount of effort that you need to do to hit your revenue goals. Now, if you want a copy of this, you'll be able to find it. Just find a link below to the Sales Market Fit Pipeline and you'll be able to get it on the tab in that document. And then just change the figures, change the stages to the stage gates in your business. Now, if you're having any specific challenges around sales in your business, B2B business or whatever, leave a comment or head over to my community tab and fill out a questionnaire there and I'll do my best to produce some content for you on that subject. Now, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel if you found this valuable so I know I'm on the right track. 